Ela vila, 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 morning, morning, evening, wish by me there. Big old evening right now, wish by me there. I will just arise up, give thanks for rising up. Yeah? Big up on yourself. So watch out now. <laughs> we get to realize something. We realize something. We realize something very interesting. You see? When it comes down to um Yeah. I get two color. Yeah. Let me get two different shades from the damn zone. Alright. I get two different shades from the um from the the thing here. I don't know if one see the same thing. I get a dark shade and a and a light shade. So here we go now. The people them will love run up under the post them when we post my, 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 um, my commentaries them. And I need to chill out. The people used to run up and quarrel and I, and I get in on the feelings. And I need to just chill out, man. First thing when I love taxi. Um we love people business. Excuse me. A dance hall business, this, you know? So if anything, when we are talking about things that happening in a dance hall, a our business, this is our industry. When I come out of the work, please come talk about what I go on in the work. When I come out of the yard, come talk about what I go on in the yard. I don't do that. I don't know who do them something. There. But I have... I don't come on social media come talk about anything when nobody outside of the dance hall. Do. When we talk about anything, it has to do with dance hall or some form of social issues. So anything up in a dance hall, whether a man or a woman, and it's a talking point, we are privileged to talk about it. This is not your industry. We do not belong in the industry. Not because Two look at artists take on a ton of in a um, some form of cult following. Uno thinks eh, uno can dictate what we talk about on the internet. We happen in a dance hall. No, a dance hall a few place. Somebody bring uno in. They can be fans and besties and and um. And gangs and you know them something there. Are people bring on in? We don't get invited. We belong here. So any topic we are going in the dance, whether a man or a woman, we can speak on it. Just like when nothing are going in our workplace, I want to talk about it. Dance hall have nothing to do with Uno, but Uno does come to give support to somebody we don't like. Somebody we turn Uno in a bestie. Somebody we turn Uno in a alliance. Somebody we turn Uno in a Gaza. Somebody we turn Uno in a um, Sheng Yang. Them look at something there. You see? That, that are uno, uno, that are for no purpose. For no purpose in a dance hall is, is, is where we must serve. Because we don't get invited to serve that purpose. 
If you get invited to be a groupie, be a groupie. But don't come in a dance hall, come tell people about. Them can't talk about anybody in a dance hall. Once in a dance hall, our industry, we free to talk about anything in a dance hall. So you need to chill out, Bridget. As soon as I post something, I'm going to run in under the post I talk about. Come off of people near man. Low woman near man, low the man near Hire them full food something there. When you don't no no belong in a dance hall, people hire you or recruit you or gas you up. You see? Or turn you into some form of cult followers to, to, to solidify or to validate them space in a dance hall. That is it. That I want a purpose. That I want a sole purpose. That I want the purpose on a serve. Una uno just like ugly done where get um recruited in my view for parody internet or for put out video and cost people. You know? That I want a purpose. Our purpose is to make music, perform, entertain, reach out to the fans, them, speak on whatever we want to speak on in a dance hall, highlight what we want in a dance hall, sing song about what we want in a dance hall, and sometimes we talk about it because we don't make sense. We sing no song about it again because the song them not go sell and the song them not go go nowhere. So because we still have the creative uh, mindset. We talk about it and give a perspective on it. That is it. So when we say things are going on in the dance hall, we're going to talk about it. Yeah? And if we know claim say we are seeking relevance, then that entertainers do. You're not relevant if you're not entertaining anyone. We have to be entertaining somebody to be relevant. So if our relevance we are seek, nothing wrong with that. That our job. We have to seek relevance for us to be successful. So when we put out a song, we want people to know about the song, learn about the song, sing the song, buy the song. You know? So of course we seek relevance. Yeah? Of course. Nothing wrong with that. You're not going as an insult <laughs> for, for, for somebody. Oh, him just a try to be relevant. Then that, then that is all about entertainment. What do you think entertain, entertainers do? You ever go on stage and see everybody turning back to an entertainer yet? You ever go on, when you go to, a, go to a stage show and the artist are performing and nobody now move, what do you call that? Flop. You call that flop. So you have to be um, getting some form of attention from the audience, you know, and in that case, you have become relevant. So we don't, we don't have to fool anybody. So we don't calm down, Virgin. We don't see me put up my video then. Wait until the vloggers then put it somewhere where we can get in on the feelings. But when we don't on my platform, I don't need now the feelings and I get disrespectful. I'm going to block on You see? I'm going to block on I'm going to argue with nobody over an no artist. Because if I don't want to war over artists, I want to never meet the artist yet. I don't know the artist. I don't never see the artist in a real life yet. I use no phone I get used by artists. Used. Because if I'm sick tomorrow and reach out, I don't get a dollar. For go a doctor. Someone wanna send DM to one of favorite artists and then do even look for one. So I, ref I refuse to go in any form of confrontation with any bestie, any alliance followers, any Gazaites, any of those type of people. Because me one hundred percent sure say ninety percent of one are more. Do not know or have no form of contact or association, physical or any other. 
with the artists who want to kill people for or bite up on yourself over. If you go to some of the stage shows them with the artists them there, maybe few of you can get past the security if you take a one picture. So all of this biting up on yourself and a cost people for artists. You don't need to chill out, but you see? If you don't decide to continue that way, you don't do it on somebody else's page, bridge, you don't do it on my page. Now, I say all of that to say this. Spice is not um, Spice does not have any immunity when it comes down to criticism. She has no immunity. This is dance hall. See? She has zero immunity. She has no immunity. Just like any other person who is a celebrity, once you become a celebrity, you have to understand that criticism is going to come your way. You're gonna do music where people not gonna like. You're gonna do. You're gonna say things that people not gonna like. You're gonna do things that people not gonna like. So spice of your understand say I may start to our street. Notice when me a talk to nobody, me a beat beat round bush like sissy. Me talk street man or woman me a talk to. It no matter. So an artist she has to understand something that dance and music it comes. With all of them things there. Criticism and all of those things are going to come with dance hall. And um, if you can't deal with them things there, you and people are going to always uh, go at it. And you're going to always acting like a, be acting like a victim. You're going to be always portraying yourself to be a victim. And you're going to always be saying, notice me not trouble people, notice me not trouble people, uh, I respond, me respond to people. No, that is not it. You can't in a dance hall and can't deal with criticism. In a our era in a dance hall, when me just come in a dance hall, the gleaner, the star, um, you know, the, the few outlets that were there, them come on stage show, come right, say so you flap. All when you think you do your best, I remember one time a bridge near Rallo, who ended up being my publicist. Rallo's assignment was to come and write negative stuff about me at my concerts. I used to just get a lot of negative reviews in at the star. And I couldn't know, and, and I think the X News, I don't remember. No, I don't think the X News, because Yasmin Peru was at the, at the X News, I think. But I remember distinctly the star. He used to just write a whole heap of negative things about me, and it used to get to me. Come with them time them just boss and all of the little girls them had scream when me they on stage, heads I kill them with the no me mash up the place. And when I pick up the star the next day, Mr. Vegas flapped. <laughs> I said, No man, I wear this. And his years after I find out says Rallo was on an assignment to write negative things about me. Bob Marley had to go down to RJ or go beat up people. Because they wanted to ban him. So I don't think because of your gender, people should believe that, oh, you should not be criticized. Because you do things for people to speak. So I don't understand why when you do things for people to speak and people speak, you have a problem with it. Eh? And if you're going to address anybody who speak about you, stand, 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 stand upon that. But I do it and then act like, oh, because I was a victim, I did. And I overreacted or I said what I shouldn't have said. Is that what I say? Stand upon that. Stand upon it when people attack you by them commentaries. Stand upon business. And so you go, you know, believe in how you do. 
Because when you come back now and walk it back, you look like yo, you're weak. You look like everything where people are saying on the internet, even though you're not responding, it really affects you. And that's the thing now in a spice. Yeah. It, it now, you now reveal to the world. When I lead them up on the internet, I say, you know, see spice not even see you. No, you reveal to the world now, say, the little things that people are saying, it is bothering you. And that, that other thing. You see? And it's always good to apologize when it, you, you, you think, say, you do something wrong. It's always good to apologize. But it also can be viewed in whatever way people on the internet view it because we're in a digital era. We're in an internet era where people do everything for the camera. You see? And that you have to understand, you know? Everybody do everything for the camera. So since you're doing an apology for the camera, or you're going to disrespect a person for the camera, you have to deal with whatever may. You have to be able to deal with that. Because we're in a digital era, a camera era, a video era, where people are seeing these things. So people are going to react. You can't tell people to react. You see? No. What you and Nightly Fix put forward now, it gave us a different perspective than even when we did a, well, it, it, well, it gave me a different perspective of what had really happened with the Anaro them. But you remember saying Anaro them, you know, very provocative, you know. Yeah, man, them disrespectful. The youth Naro, yeah, man, in very, very um, disrespectful, condescending, bad, because they were going with them now. Them things that show them go to university. And them, them have a little behavior like artists. Show them deal with so much dance artists and them interview so much dance artists. Them things that all of us are dance and, and illiterate. You see? So nightly fix, they're very disrespectful and the boy named Naro is very condescending. You see? Very, very condescending. A little wannabe Charlemagne the God. That is who he is. You see what I say? So he can be very provocative. The co host, she's like, I try to be like him in a little way. Uh, she has to try to play for the camera, but you can see that she even more intelligent than him. And she she could be a very, very great, you know, whatever field she choose. You know, you know, she could be very good at whatever field she choose. Like, I, I could see her, you know, in politics or them thing. Because like, she have a very, you know, good grasp of, um, you know, you know, what she had about are the, issue, are the topics, them, the topical issues. But the boy named Nara, I'm very, very disrespectful. And I can't understand if somebody telling about him mother, I can understand it. I can understand if somebody tell the whole of them up about their mother. Because we know that they have bias. We know that them a group of some artists, and we know that them kind of have this little behavior where them look down upon other artists. That means I would come amongst them and do interview them and respect them and them thing there. But I notice how them talk about me. Clown of the year. Should Mr. Vegas be, be ushered out of music? Like, I never place nobody, place me in a music. I work, I work hard for coming to music, so they might just usher me out. Like, like at somebody, you know, like a plant, like me, an industry plant. Like, me know, like me know, solidify my, my, my presence in a dance hall. So, them can be very disrespectful. When me a bunch of killer clash, them ridicule me, them not ridicule killer, you know. They might ridicule me over the clash. And him swear the same song sound good, you know. He don't know. But I understand, say, I saw them still. So me understand when anybody tell me about their mama. Me understand that. 
But here we may not understand. This is what I do not understand. And I still cannot get to the point of understanding it. I still not, me not, me not, me can't fathom what happened with Spice and them and how it happened. Because here I understand they're very, very disrespectful. I may understand how a person would tell them about the mumma, but what I may not understand is creating a space to tell them about the mumma. <laughs> and that I never understand. Yeah. Because you see, you see the mother thing, when a person tell you about your mother, they tell you I'm like them do a song and they say, yo, Ray Ray, them see you and you disrespect them and say, hey boy, you I don't understand how it go down. I don't mean I understand because a whole heap of thinking, a whole heap of thinking a person have put into the way how Spice did tell him about his mother. Yeah. I don't mean I never understand. And after the interview, I still not understand it. But I understand the apology because, of course, Album of a release, music of a cell. And it's a good opportunity to highlight the album. And it's a good opportunity for, to have us speaking about Spice and the project and Nightly Fix. I understand that. Because we stand for business. Yeah? Me understand that part of the album. Has come. Time to issue an apology. Time to invite them, you know, to promote the album. I understand that. And of course, them now going to know be um, neutral or unbiased in a them review of the album because now they are afraid of getting another S your mother. You see? So now they must go be besties. They must go wear blue come at the interview. They must go wear blue shoes and all them things to appease your ego. So them can't be themselves. You see what I say? Them can't be themselves. I mean, I think them have a problem with being themselves with other people. Where them not like. Or where them look down upon. You see? But no, them can't be themselves with you. Then come like when Jeffrey talk a bag of things about Shensia. And when he sit down in front of Shensia, he couldn't talk. What must I say? I when really feel. <laughs> he become a groupie. You see? He just became a groupie for Shensia, which I understand it because Shensia is nice and pretty, beautiful girl sitting in front of him. You know all? He feel like him in a moment. He have the queen sitting right across from him. He must desire him, he must desire him good have in mind for a lay down with this beautiful princess and she look even better in person than, than when you see her on the internet. So him, him ride as a star struck. You see? So he couldn't be himself and really talk straight like how he talk out of her presence. You see what I say? Is that the thing, you know? Them can't be themselves. Kawa. Them freed mind. Them get invited to another event. And when them come at the event now, things say them go interview you and then get a next S your mother. Is that the thing? If me have to tell somebody about their mother, me not invite them. And the false pretense to tell them about their mother. No. Me not do that. That is where you say, yo. Your level, I want extreme level, sister. I want extreme level, that sister. You see? That level is extreme. Me not invite somebody and a pretense, false pretense. Say, yo, I'm keeping a party. And um, you're invited and give them all invitation. And when them come, set up them camera, set up the lights, them, set up everything.
things I may never have a proper sit down, I say, You, it's your mother. Me eat you. Me eat all your shoes. <laughs> me eat you. It's your mother. Me eat you. That extreme, and what that proof to is a sister, that says that proof to is you can't deal with criticism. Yeah, your artist sister, you have to can't come with the territory sister. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You can't invite somebody under false pretense because you want to tell a person that to them face. And then because you have an album now, a release, you come now with this like a fake apology. I go on like say, nobody no say nothing. Because everybody fe ask for forgiveness. No. The time when you should apologize is when you come out of the hospital. You should just link up everybody where you're wrong. If you feel like you do something wrong then. Because you know you say you got a death door according to you. Link up the people in where you're wrong. And say, yo, night to fix me, I come check on you, you know. I want to interview you, know, man. You know, so I go through a bad experience and I learn a lot over the years. Sorry for what going on. But not when I release an album. <laughs> Apology to the real sister. It does show me if them, if them should criticize you again in the future. Then we we'll get the next invite and the next S your mother. And notice what he did. You're not take full responsibility for what you're doing. You're actually justified the S your mother, but you say you're sorry not the same breath. Because you say because they attack both you. Because somebody say you're the next Beyonce. You're not the next Beyonce sister. You don't know when you're Beyonce sister. Then we can't say that. You're no comparison to Beyonce. If at that trip, you say that was the final try, you know. Because man is. <laughs> They, they really believe it. <laughs> no, no, me sound like cargo. So you did really believe say Beyonce? You did really... Well, me a usher. <laughs> if you did really believe say a Jamaica, me a Jamaica usher. Me a usher. Me a Chris Brown. Yeah, man. Me a Chris Brown. Any, hey, Hannibal. If you ever tell me, say, me and a Chris Brown. Me and you, hey, Hannibal, you hear me? Nobody even tried, yo, nobody even tried, eh. Hey. Me a Chris Brown. Yeah. Me a Usher. Fox. Yeah, man. Then at that, you say, at this trial, we broke the camera's back. Then, sister, then you, then, then you don't need therapy, man. You need therapy, sister. You need therapy. You can't so thin skin, sister, man. You cannot be so thin skin. Me never know, say, then, then when you get trouble, now we not got up. <laughs> You get trouble now when I go top. I see you petty. You petty bad man. No wonder you go for ugly than for cause people for you. And no, Mrs. You, you, then, you know, some of your people are saying you recruit ugly than.